song to start the soundtrack of the night. Let's see if we can keep this energy going. Some old school win. Yeah, man. Okay. Tough time, tough time. First fight of the night. We are under K1 rules. That means no knees to the head, no catching without a return. Three knockdown rule is in effect. These are three minute rounds. This looks to like be a great opener for tonight. Dylan in blue, Ian in red. Ian Quinn, the southpaw. Oh, they came out swinging. Ian Quinn switches back to the orthodox position. Good right hand from Dylan Robertson. Great right hand. Nice overhand right. Good movement from Ian. I'm liking how he's moving in and out. Robertson playing a really high guard with his hands. Especially with the length of the fighter, I would really like to see him get behind of his jab and really establish and use that length. Good check. I like how they're not following the pace of amateurs. They're kind of kind of measuring themselves. Mm -hmm. That shows some real work in the gym. Good slip by Quinn with a counter right uppercut. Ooh. Those are heavy leg kicks that Quinn is throwing. Good delay switch head kick from Robertson. You can hear Robertson Coates say no naked, meaning no naked leg kicks. Would really like to see both fighters really throw a jab across, set something up before you throw a kick. Good leg kick by Quinn. Yeah, Quinn's really targeting that oh. leg. Oh, 
it, it, starting the show. It really only takes a couple of these leg kicks to compromise the leg. I would like to see Quinn mix it up just a little more. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right overhand. But really, if he can stick with that right leg kick, but like you said, Zeke, set it up somehow with a jab, with a left hook, and then come back with it. Because right now, I think Robertson's kind of expecting that leg kick, but he's also not doing anything about it. Correct. Good knee up the center. <laughs> oh, Robertson. Still, good movement from Quinn. Loving the way he's moving around the ring. Yeah, definitely completely opposite of Robertson, who, who's fairly stiff, but lands a good right head kick. Clean head kick, he's hurt. He's Quinn hurt. is a little stumbled. 10 seconds left in the round. He needs to stay measured. That's yeah, one knocked out with a follow-up shot. Good way to recover. Quinn gets up. That's the end of the first round. Big score at the end of the round for Roberts. I'll tell you what, they came out. They didn't look like amateurs to me. No, so Cody, in between rounds, let's say you've been rocked like Ian Quinn has, especially at the very end of that round. You know, what's your game plan? What should the coaches be telling you? I mean, you gotta take you gotta take your minute between rounds here and kind of recollect yourself. But I mean, it was kind of, it was kind of a flash, and then he, he got hurt and got dropped. But I don't really think I think he's recovered already. He's just got to re reestablish his game plan. I think before the knockdown, he might have taken that round. So uh, I, I think he moves in. I think he keeps his pace, and uh, he can definitely come back from it. And Zeke, if you're on the offensive, let's say you're Dylan Robinson, you know what's your game plan coming into round two? Oh, I'm definitely look, looking to check some of those kicks. Um, I'm moving in and out, um, definitely taking the angle and picking my shots as I just did. Um, he, we don't know if he's still rocked, so let's push the pace on him and get this finish. Both fighters seem to be pretty recovered in their corners. Ten seconds out with the corners coming out of the cage. And we will start round two. Wynn kind of seems like he might still be swaying a bit. Just a tad. If I'm Quinn, I try to get right back to that right leg kick, but I need to set it up somehow. Absolutely. You don't want to go in naked and leave yourself open for a shot. Especially since he's already been compromised. I feel like if he throws a weak leg kick, Robertson can clip him. We talked about him in the beginning of round one. Robertson's length compared to Quinn. If I'm Quinn, I don't want to stay right down the center because Robertson can get his right hand off and make himself really long. So use that angle of stepping off with a hook to attack that lead leg. But just don't stand in the middle and play rock'em, sock'em robots with somebody who's longer than you. Yeah, like you said, Kevin, the length is significant. I would like to see more fakes, setups for the shots that count. Heavy leg kick from Quinn. These guys are absolute warriors, though. Like, they came in here, they're keeping the same pace. They're going to war. Mm -hmm. Good rear head kick from Robinson. Quinn taking a little deep breath here. Quinn also appears to be backing straight up. Now, there's no angle to it. Mm -hmm. I think he might have been a bit timid after getting rocked in the first. And as we know, that's very dangerous. Two feet and then you're on the cage. Clean jab from Robertson. Ooh. Good heavy leg kick from that, Quinn. That was a heavy sounding leg kick. I mean, oh, look, look at Robertson's lead leg. Look how red it is. He hasn't switched stances yet, so he he's toughing he, it out. He's eating these over and over. Exactly. If I'm Quinn, I'm just going to go back to it until he starts checking it. Absolutely. And, I mean, you can't say that there wasn't shin guards that this fight might have been a different story. Agreed. <laughs> Not at all.
Quinn sticking with a leg kick. Going to try to chop Dylan down. <laughs> Man, if it's free water at the wheel, why not go back to it? Exactly. The My biggest problem is Quinn is just staying right down the center with Dylan. I like how these fighters actually have an active clinch. You normally don't see that with amateurs as well. Mm -hmm. Exchanging leg kicks. Yes. Big right left hand. Big left hook. See, Tell me, guys, you think Quinn's starting to slow down? I think so. If you look at his hands, see where they drop to about hip height? I'm Robertson. I just let the jab and the cross go. Don't worry about the kicks. End. Good right this, hand at the end of the round. End of the second round. Guys, this is a pretty close fight. It, it's pretty close. It, it could be one and one. Robertson does look tired, too. You've seen him bow at the end of that round. Mm -hmm. So maybe it's just a, uh, a battle of wills at this third round. If I'm Quinn, man, the leg kick is working. Don't go away from it. But like we've said almost this entire fight, set it up. Like uh, He's got heavy kicks, but he's just too centered. Absolutely. Absolutely. Stepping off line is, is critical in this fight. Uh, like you were saying, it could be one and one. Um, so who's willing to go that extra mile and do something significant to win this match? I do want to see what Robertson's legs look like after this fight. Absolutely. That lead leg is tenderized. I think I want to pitch it to him. <laughs> Third and final round with these two Warriors kicking off the Coleman Kickboxing Entertainment's locked and loaded card. Dylan Robertson and Ian Quinn. We're going to the third and final round. Look at the stoicism on Robertson now. He did yeah. this before the fight and he's sticking with it. Breathing pretty well as well. I love it. Robertson sticking with that high guard. Nice left body hook by Quinn. But he keeps backing straight up, though. Great combination. Great combination. Left uppercut lands. They're exchanging. Good. Push kick to about the throat from Quinn. I think that head kick might have uh, connected with the nose on that one. Mm, okay. Oh! oh. Right Great. head kick, not blocked. Right? Oh. He shook his head no. Yeah. I mean, in fights, that means you are hurt. You're just Absolutely. trying to say you're not. Absolutely. From cage side, we saw that sucker land, and it was heavy. He didn't go down, though. That's a testament. Yeah. I love the high guard mm -hmm. from Rob Robertson. But now look at Quinn's elbows. See how where he's going to start fighting from? Start fighting from his hips. This is yeah. going to allow Robertson to just fire his straights. Oh, oh, good overhand right. I think if Robertson pressed for it, he could, he could go for the finish and get it. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. If Quinn wants this fight, good he's going to have to start stepping on the gas in the last half of this fight. Continuing to back straight up. Quinn needs to walk forward. Good slick from Quinn. Deep breath out from Ian Quinn. That was a winded leg kick from Quinn. Yeah, heavy winded leg kick. Missing those shots takes a lot out of you. Long reaching jab and cross. Now that could be detrimental. You don't want to reach out for these strikes. You want them to be tight. Under a minute left in this fight. I like the pace that Robertson's setting right now. Oh, overhand right from Quinn. The bad thing about a fight this good is the rest of the card has to follow this. Oh. Travis did a good job of making this one the first one. Yeah, great decision. Here we go. 30 seconds left. Quinn's got to push forward if he wants to win this fight. Oh, oh the body shot down. to drop him. Wow. Wow, to the solar plex. That hurts in the he last He stands round. up. He still has an opportunity. Quinn takes the standing eight from referee Scott Huff. He's got 15 seconds remaining in this fight. 
Oh, there's the 10 second bell. Quinn has to absolutely go for broke at this point. Yeah. Backing up's not gonna do it. Two knockdowns, those have to be 10 eights. That's the end. Great that first fight of the night. That was a war. It was, it was. I'm impressed with both guys. What a way to power through. I would say with the with the two knockdowns, you can probably give the fight to Robertson, but it was good back and forth. I think if Quinn would push forward, cut some angles, those lead leg kicks were just damaging. Absolutely, absolutely. I think there are things that both guys can take away from this fight and improve on, uh, but they should both be happy with the performance that they put out for not only us, but the audience in attendance. I think Robertson does take the win. The two knockdowns in kickboxing, you have to argue that's two 10-8 rounds. It's easily a unanimous, but both guys put on a show. Nobody lost this fight. No, no, no. It was a great fight to kick off the, kick off the card. You win or you learn. <laughs> we will go upstairs to Brady L. Davis, our ring announcer, to make this fight official.